Hi again folks, how's all doing? So this is a Bachman Class 2MT that was sent to me by Michael. Um, he said there's a problem with the front drive wheels um, and also he wants some buffers fitted. Let's uh, turn on the power and see what happens. Oh, the rear bogey wheel's hardly moving. Yeah, there definitely seems to be some drivetrain issues there and it's a problem with that rear bogey. Um, so we'll get this into the shed and off to the bench, see what's what. Alright, okay, back my eye that tank. Uh, Michael did say that the, you know, the problem with the, the front wheels. Um, you know, they're a bit loose, so it's probably got some, you know why, yeah, split axles. So we'll need to be getting uh, a new set of axles from Peter Spears. Uh, it's got pickups on the front bogey, uh, but one of the wires has come off. That'll need to be resoldered. That'll be tricky because it's where is that metal? That's plastic, so I need to be careful with that. Um, the rear bogey, yeah, it needs backed off. That's screwed in too far. There we go. That's better. Uh, looks like we've got a step missing. Other than that, looks okay. Needs a bit of a dust. I'd quite like to get one of these actually, I don't have one. Let's uh, open her up. Where's my tweezers? Where's my tweezers? Don't tell me they've gone to the same place as the monkey brush. There they are there, right in front of me. Right. Let's screw it. Let's screw it. Is there one at the front? I don't see one. There we go. So yeah, the usual Bachman split chassis business. Which I don't mind in principle. Um, they can be quite nice runners, but yeah. There's always the problem with the axles. We've got brake rods, which I'm going to have to disengage. They're actually broken there. There we go. So now we get into that screw. Is this just going to come off? Like that. Held on with those pickup wires. Lots of fluffage and dry grease. But these axles are well and truly shot. At least that one is. What's this one like? It's got a wee crack in it. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Done as well. What about the drive axle? Probably going to be cracked as well. Drive axle seems okay actually. So right, I shall go on to Peter Spears and get the axles ordered up. But we'll give this a clean out in the meantime. Get the monkey brush onto everything. I really must get myself one of those uh, pick tools that dentists use. We'll clean the wheels. Let's go. Front scoosh out. To be honest, this would benefit from a complete strip down and clean up and rebuild, but um, I don't like doing it to these old Bachman models. Um, you know, taking the valve gear apart, ugh, it's a risky, risky business. Um, you know, the plastic parts there can uh, break very easily. Um, it's these uh, cranks in the middle on the drive wheels there don't uh, come apart very easily there's a horrible little uh, spring washer um, that never ever goes back quite the way it was so I don't like taking them apart if I can help it 
But I think it'll be fine. We'll give it a clean up. Um, some fresh lubrication. Get those wires soldered up on the front pickup there. And it'll be fine. Right, I shall get the uh, axles ordered up and get back to this when they arrive. Okay, so a few days later, I've got my replacement axles from Peter Spares. Um, they actually came a few days ago. Um, I haven't been able to, to do any work on this, uh, or at least not do any work uh, on video because I've, I've had the builders in and uh, all sorts of noise and carry on going on. So um, they're coming back next week, but this is Sunday, so I've got peace and quiet to uh, to do this. So we'll pop these on, uh, we'll get this wire soldered up and pop this back together, get some couplings on it and it should be good to go. Let's get a look at these, see what sort of flashes on them. There's always a bit. We'll get that off. Taking the wheels off. I can uh, pop them in the vise and squeeze them together gently. If you if you squeeze them too close together. They're quite difficult to get apart again without splitting the, the axle. Right, so that one is at 9 o'clock. That one wants to be 12 o'clock. So it wants to be like that. Nice and easy to do the quartering because of the, the square holes. So just push them together initially like that. And then I'm just going to pop them in the vise. I know it's off camera, but never mind. So there you are, let's them squeeze together. And they're exactly 14.1. If you squeeze them right in as far as they'll go, your back to back will be too narrow. And uh, as I say, you'll have trouble getting them apart again. So that will pop in there. That. I'll take the front wheels off. I'm looking at this drive axle again and yeah, it is starting to split. So I think we will replace it. Yeah, it's just starting to split there. So we shall replace it. I'm not taking the drive wheels out. So just have to get shoved together. That'll do it, I think. Nope, it's too far. See, this is the trouble when you don't do it in a vice. Uh, hopefully. Pull it out a wee bit. That'll do me. I'm just checking the axles on the front and back bogies and they're uh, split as well. But that doesn't matter too much. As long as the back to back's okay. Just soft of his. Just getting some super glue onto the cracks on the axles of the front and rear bogies. Just to stabilise them a bit. Right, can we get this soldered? Probably best to take the pickup off and then solder it on. Tiny wee screw there. Can't undo that. So with the pickup out of the way, we can lift out the little contact at the solder goes on to and we'll see if we can get this sorted it'll probably come off again because it's going to be subject to you know movement but hey -ho. is that on appears to be Right, okay, here we are. Let's see what this does on the test track. Is this going to go? So 
von da hinten kriege ich so eine Warm Gear. Right, we always put oil on all the linkages. And then we'll fit some sort of couplings. Um, I'm not sure what these had originally, but there is holes for them. Um, so the back, that front, bogey screw off a wee bit. It's better. Um, I think mainline ones will fit actually. Yeah, I think that kind of fits. Just want to trim one side of it down a bit. That'll fit on there. Like so. Right, before I fit the body, we'll uh, get the, the dusty brush onto it, give it a clean up. Numbering on this side is nice and clear, but they're completely gone on this side. So I think I'll see if I've got uh, some decals to replace those numbers. Right, so we'll put this last number on. I don't like putting number decals on individually like this. You tend to nudge one when you're trying to adjust the one next to it. You kind of have to let each one dry before putting the next one on. There we go. 41313 and 41313. And there we go. Just put this on the track. And we're done. All right, let's go and pull out the shed. Uh, yeah, so much for that. So what's happened here? Um, I'm going to cut a long story short, uh, otherwise this would have been a four part series I think. Um, what happened was, when I ran it on the layout, it was lurching pretty badly. Um, but only when it was going forwards. In reverse it ran absolutely perfectly. Um, so I had a wee, a wee fiddle with it. But decided that the most likely cause was a worn intermediate gear. That's the gear between the drive gear and the worm gear. Um, to get to that, I got to completely dismantle the model. And uh, in the process of doing so, uh, this little plastic part, which should look like that, uh, just disintegrated. It holds in the, the valve gear into the side of the chassis. So it should just... Uh, plug in like so and just when I was prizing it out it just fell apart so a bit of a disaster um, fortunately Bachman have spares so I've been able to replace it and I also ordered a replacement intermediate gear while I was at it but I've had to wait for Bachman to deliver these and uh, for me to have a quiet enough house to continue the video so this is uh, taking a bit of time to get this uh, this particular job done um, you know, but this is why I don't like taking Bachmann split chassis models apart uh, unless it's absolutely necessary. The valve gears uh, tend to be very delicate and easily broken. Mainline models are even worse, but at least with Bachmann ones you can get uh, you know spare parts most of the time. But uh, you know, it's why I stopped working on uh, mainline models because it's just not worth it. So anyway, hopefully once I get this back together with the new intermediate gear and a uh, little part for the valve here, um, that will solve the lurching. Um, I think this model's got a pretty high mileage and I think the you know the original gear is just worn. Um, so we shall see if it still lurches with the new intermediate gear fitted. Um, it may be the spindle, uh, just got a pointy thing. It may be the spindle here that's got a bit worn. Um, and if that's the case, I may be looking at bushing that with a bit of brass tubing or something and uh, enlarging the hole on the intermediate gear to go over it, just to reduce the amount of play on the gear. But we shall see. We'll try fitting the new gear and hopefully that'll do the trick. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of play on the old gear. Let's see what the new one's like. Still a bit of play on it, but hopefully it'll be a bit better. But I do think the spindle um, isn't quite uh, round anymore. But we'll get some grease on it. 
and we shall see what it does. We might just get lucky. It might be okay. I mean, this all disassembled. I can actually get a bit of oil into the motor bearing. There's a little spring, and that will go on to. Where is it going to go? Goes into there, which makes contact between the chassis and the terminal on the motor. Right. Okay. Uh, I think I shall also put some grease on top of that intermediate gear and on the worm gear. Alright, okay. Okay, so fast forwarding a bit, didn't want to make this too long a video. Um, got this back together, spent quite a bit of time fiddling around with the valve gear try and get it all back in place. I really don't like working on these Bachmann valve gears. Um, not because of the complexity, it's just that they're so delicate and easily broken. But let's stick this on the test track. Now, it wasn't lurching on the test track before. It was only when I got it onto the layout that I could see it lurching. So this isn't really going to test much, but at least it tells me that it works. Will it lurch? We won't find out until we pull it out of the shed. Let's get it uh, all back together and see what happens when we do pull it out of the shed. Ready to go. We'll uh, pull it out of the shed again. And fingers crossed this runs okay. Okay then, let's bring it out.
So there we are, that's Michael's Bachman 2MT running okay. Uh, yeah, that turned out to be a bit of a horror. Um, there was quite a bit of faffing and fiddling with it that didn't make the video, but essentially it needed new axles and new gears, as well as a good clean-up and uh, those number decals, of course. But uh, in the process of taking it apart to look at the intermediate gear, I broke the valve gear. Um, always a hazard with these uh, split chassis things. Uh, what I might do at some point soon is a more detailed video of taking a Bachmann split chassis apart because uh, I excluded a lot in this video you know, to keep it a reasonable length. But um, you know, if you're going to run these old Bachmann split chassis locomotives, you're going to need new axles and possibly intermediate gears. So uh, yeah, that's a subject for a future video, I think. Um, I get asked to do a, uh, a lot more detailed videos on specific motors and stuff, so maybe that'll be the first of those. Uh, anyway, got there in the end with us, uh, in between having the builders in and waiting for spares and stuff. Um, so I shall get it packed up and sent back to Michael. Um, if my calculations are correct, my next video will be my 300th. Blimey. me. Uh, so I'll need to get started on that. Although, to be honest, I have no idea what I'm going to do for it. Um, I won't be buying a, a new locomotive as I did for my 100th and my 200th, but I'll see what I can do. Um, if I don't get that video out before the Falkirk exhibition, then just to remind anyone who's going there on Saturday the 18th this month, uh, I hope to be there in the morning at some point, so by all means come and say hello if you see me wandering about. Alrighto, catch us later folks.